Hello everybody, and welcome back to The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. Off camera, I went from the Zender Gate. I actually went on foot, believe it or not, and fought some enemies along the way. Nothing story had happened, I would have recorded that otherwise. And I guess we're ready to head back to the settlement. What happens there, I don't know. I believe we're supposed to have some sort of noon meal. Hmm. Hopefully nothing bad will happen. That's all I can hope for. Okay, we're here. Okay, go to the Warzel home. That should cause something to happen, right? Yep, here we go. Hmm. I see you finished all this morning's tasks. Sure did. Yeah, we hit all the essential ones. Good work, everyone. The food's almost ready. Just give it a little more time. Ah, looks like we came back right on time then. I guess so. Is it luck or intuition? Either way, there's more than enough to go around. Cool. I'm sure you must be starving after riding all over the plains all morning. Maybe. Well, I am pretty hungry. Riding can be surprisingly strenuous. Me, yeah, it can. It smells wonderful. I think the scent is starting to make me even hungrier. <laughs> me too. Hey, no eating before it's done. <laughs> anyway, let me thank you for working hard this morning. Take a seat. We'll begin our midday meal in just a minute. And hopefully nothing bad will happen. Reed and the others sat down and waited for the meal to be served, okay? After eating their fill of warm, fragrant non-bread, I have no idea what that is, and savory kebabs, they all washed down with a cup of Sheeta's finest herbal tea. Ah, that really hit the spot. I still want to eat more, but my stomach is protesting. <laughs> that non flatbread you made was really delicious. It tasted so fresh, too. Hee hee, I baked it on a kind of classable stove. Okay. I'm glad you liked it. I doubt you see bread like that much in the Empire. Probably not. Ooh, I don't think I could eat another bite. I know that feeling. She this tea was a wonderful finish to the meal, too. Yeah, I must have been practicing quite a bit while I've been away. Your tea etiquette was perfect as well. I hope you will continue to learn and improve. Whatever that means. Uh, thank you. Hee hee, she got praised by the cool boy. <laughs> You're embarrassing her. Lily! Ah, uh, looks like you were able to recover your strength. Sure did. Hopefully you're about ready to start thinking about the afternoon's tasks. Uh, oh yes, of course. Shall we get started on the clearing up first then? Don't you mean cleaning up? Oh, you don't need to worry yourselves with that. Oh no, I would feel terrible if you had to do it all on your own. Hmm, then we should begin. Alright, so this is the first field study where we're doing more tasks in the same day, right? What did we see we got? Field study day one, afternoon, assigned tasks. I can only assume it's gonna take us north, right? Let's see. Ooh, two optional, one required. A visiting camera man by the name of Norton is off for the Northern Highlands. Oh, that's stupid of him. Elder Ivan, okay. Watering sheep. Atari, okay, and special lesson. Jeddah, alright. Seems simple enough. There are only a few, but they all seem pretty challenging. No, they don't. Not to mention tedious. This afternoon, I'd like you to turn your attention toward the Northern Highlands. I figured as much. You may need to travel to the south as well, though, which will give you a lot of ground to cover. Is that so? I left some fresh horses near the Northern Exodus, so just head out that way when you're ready to leave. Okay. Thank you. Alright, everyone, let's do this. We should swing by and visit the Elder first, since he's the quiet for our only essential quest this afternoon. Alright. That seems sensible. Okay, let's pay the Elder a visit. Aha, take care, everyone. Alright, I did run into that photograph guy before, but he didn't have any quests for me. Elder is to the right. Well, obviously we're going to do the optional stuff first, but I want to just check in with the Elder real quick. Can I multitask things? I, I don't know. Let's just stay, be on the safe side. I mean, I hope I, multitasking is a thing in this game, otherwise I might be screwed here. <laughs> I 
think that's done. Elder, Elder. Welcome. I assume you've seen our request. You sure did. We did. It mentioned that Norton's made his way out of the settlement on his own. It's very stupid of him. He was quite fervent about the idea of taking photographs of something in the northern region of the Highlands. Should have waited for us to escort him. I plan on having you all escort him there in the afternoon, but... Apparently he was unable to wait until then, and he took off by horse on his own. He's an idiot. Really? How childish, exactly. Uh, I assume he, he simply couldn't control his passion as a photographer. Maybe. He must be really taken by whatever it is. There are many ruins from the ancient Neolithic civilization in the northern region of the Highlands. It's likely they went to visit the statue of the Guardian there. Guardian? What exactly is the statue? It's one of the, the most symbolic of ancient relics here in Nord. Okay. Legend has it that the Guardian it represents sealed away an evil jinn within the ancient quarry to the north. Wow. It's quite the Grand Wa of legends. How do you pronounce that word, Grand Wa? I don't know. At any rate, we should, we should catch up with him as soon as possible. Monsters aren't the only reason the northern region can be dangerous. Hmm. It's not an area those not from Nor should be traveling across alone. Which further exemplifies how much of an idiot this Norton guy is. Could you please find him for us and keep him safe? Understood. Leave it to us. Let's make our way there immediately then. Indeed, we need to leave the settlement through the northern entrance. I leave this in your hands then. Take care now. Alright, I want to do the other quests first if I can. Alright, so there's one there. Oh, they're both here. Never mind. I really hope he didn't drop something down that well. Hey, Toma. Hmm? What's wrong? Don't you have a date with Charl about now? <laughs> what? What's that supposed to mean? B besides, it's not today anyway. Hang on, why do you even know about that? That's a good question. Hee hee, that's a secret. I can switch with you when you do your chores if you want to go and see her. You don't need... I mean, I'm not even ready yet. Okay. I guess we'll do the one on the left first. I don't see any problem doing either one. Okay, you're the quest giver. I've been waiting for you all. Did you have a look at my request? You sure did. We did. You want us to hold a class for the children, right? Just tell them stories or something? I don't know. What do you want us to teach them, though? Don't worry, it's nothing too difficult. I just want you to teach them a little bit about Erebonia. That's fair enough. Oh, but this might be multiple choice. I gotta choose the right answers, maybe? I see. That explains why you asked us, then. This is a good chance for them to learn about life outside the settlement. They attend Sunday school, so they're fine in regards to regular studies. Might I ask how Sunday school is carried out here? Again, that's another good question. Oh. A traveling priest comes by once a month to hold it. Well, that's only one Sunday out of the four. Whatever. <laughs> we can't be faithful enough for all his efforts. When you think about it, the sheer amount of work the church does on such a huge scale is, is really is amazing. Indeed. It's all thanks to the goddess's generosity. Do you have the time to help? If so, I'll call the children over. Accept the request. Yes, we're ready when they are. Thank you. Oh, shit. They're gonna choose me, aren't they? Oh, I meant to say, we want this to be similar to Sunday school, so we'd like just one of you to serve as the teacher. Feel free to pick among yourselves, though. Keep in mind that guy is just in the candidate. Yeah, I figured this much. Hmm. Who's the ideal candidate for this, then? Hmm. I believe each of us would have our own unique things to teach here. That's true. I think it might be best if we go with Emma the... Actually, I believe that you would be the best candidate for this reading. I knew it. What? I was thinking the same thing myself, actually. Social standing is pretty important in Erebonia, and there's a broad variety of opinions about it. But you're kind of a special case, Reen. Is that so? That's true. His unique position allows him to discuss things from a relatively unbiased point of view. Okay. But... I think you'd be a good choice, Reen. Even taking your position out of the equation, you're almost always at the center of our class anyway. <laughs> got that right. Well... I suppose I can't say no if everyone feels that way, can I? No, you cannot. Alright then, I'll do it. Aha, thanks. 
Well, it looks like we're ready to begin. Wonderful. I'll gather the children right away. If this, ha if I have to do special history stuff, I can have to look it up because I'm not good at this shit. I am not good at this shit. I thought there were more kids here. Is that everyone? I don't see Toma anywhere though. Um, Toma's part of the older group in Sunday school, so all right, makes sense. Yeah, he's got work to do too, so he can't come. I see. I was hoping he'd be here too. Let's get started then. Hee hee, I'm so excited. Glad to hear it. <laughs> Why aren't we sitting down? Why are we standing like this? I guess I should introduce myself first. I'm Reen Schwarzer. My friends and I came here from Forrest Military Academy. Forrest Military Academy? Hee hee, you're from the same academy as guys then. You know shit. <laughs> School's for studying and stuff, right? <clears throat> what, do you, what do you study there? Well, we get taught all kinds of things, really. They are the basic subjects like history and math. Being a military academy, we also learned the art of combat. You should tell them that. That's the same stuff Wakan and everyone else uses to fight monsters, isn't it? Pretty much. That's so cool. Yeah, you should get so interested in violence at a young age. I see you got a boy side to you after all. Yeah, it's might be a little scaredy cat. I am not. <laughs> hey now, there's no need for teasing. Hey, hey, how far is that academy from here? Pretty damn far. How far, in terms of distance? Um, you came here on something called a train, didn't you? They don't know where the train is. Could you tell us how long that trip took? Oh, that makes it a bit easier. In that case... I mean, we got up at 6 in the morning, right? So, we got arrived at 4.30, didn't we? So, that would be what? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3... Nine and a half hours? I don't fucking know. I'm looking this shit up, guys. I'm sorry. I hate to do this, but I don't want to look like an idiot in front of the kids. I know it's cheating again. I'm sorry, but I really have to do this. I don't want to look like a fucking fool. I was named this quest. I don't know. More of the high winds. Uh. Sunday school? There we go. Oh, around eight hours, so I was right. That's why I would chosen anyway. If we take the transfer times out of the equation, then we were on the train for about eight hours, I'd say. That's a very long time. That's pretty far, yeah. Daddy told me that trains are fast too. So it still took that long, even then. Sure did. It must be super far away, then. It really is. Though, the fact that we still made it here that day is pretty amazing. I guess. Hee hee, yeah, it'd taken a lot longer by horse. Oh, the perish the thought. Um, can I ask something, too? Of course. Right. What's the biggest place in Erebonia, then? That would be Helmdar, which is our capital city. Have we been there yet? I don't think so. Helmdar. That's a cool name. Yeah, it sounds strong. <laughs> That's the unique way to judge it. Um, how many people live there? I have no idea. Hmm. Really? 800,000 according to this. From what I remember, it's about 800,000 people. 800,000? Is that a lot? They don't know math either? Jesus Christ. It seems like they can't help comprehend the number that big just yet. <laughs> Then again, I can't imagine that many people in one place either. Make it big enough, there's enough space for everybody. I mean, you're not the only one. Of course, you never actually see that many people all at once. There's, unless they're at some sort of stadium, but whatever. He seems to be doing just fine. With my little cheat sheet here, of course. So it seems. A lot of it's common knowledge, though. Not for me. Well, I'm just glad to see the morning something. He he, he's not a bad teacher. Alright, what's next? If anyone has any further questions, please, please feel free to ask. Um, can I ask, ask something then? Sure, go ahead. Of course, what is it? How long ago was Forrest first built? 220 years. According to this. You guys told me all about how it has a long history, but... I forgot when exactly it was made. Hmm. 220, according to this. Yep. 
Four was founded about 220 years ago, roughly 30 years after the War of the Lions ended. The founder was none other than Emperor Dracols, a legendary figure in the Empire and even here in the High Ones. Founding the Academy was one of the last things he did before he passed away. That's a long time. I didn't know the Emperor Dracols was the one who founded it. I know who he is too. He was friends with our ancestors, wasn't he? Maybe. Yeah, he won the war and became the most important person in Erebonia. Yep, that's how he became the Emperor. Hearing you all talk about him really goes to show how deep his connection with Nord was. So, is there anything else you'd like to know? Me, me, I have a question. Oh god, what is it? What's with the aerial view all of a sudden? Well, it's almost time for us to finish up for the day. Is there anything else you'd like to know before then? Did you ask your question or did you not? Hmm, I think I've asked everything, okay then. I can't think of anything else either. You two really did ask a lot. Well, curiosity. Oh yeah, you thought of something? That seems like she's not all out of, not all out just yet, Jesus Christ. You talked about them before, but what are nobles? Uh, well you see. There's been a class system in place within Erebonia for a long time now. What's a class system? Eh, uh, judging? Hmm, could you give me a few minutes to think? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how I should answer this. Um, can I ask as well, now that it's been brought up? Oh boy. Go ahead. I'm not sure if either of them will really understand if you try to explain normally, so... Could you give us your own thoughts on nobles instead? That might make things easier to understand. That makes giving an answer easier, too. Wow, things escalated quickly, didn't they? <laughs> Indeed. I wonder how he'll answer. Silence. Hmm, this is still a bit tough. I don't think there's really a right or wrong answer, so I'll just have to answer in my heart, I guess. To me? I'm not gonna say no idea. I mean, normally the top answer would be my thing, but... but again, I don't really see Noble as really different than Cobblers other than their social status. I'm gonna say the bond with one's family. I think Nobles are all about the bond they have with their family. Oh? Yeah, I think so, too. Sorry, guys, I gotta plug my thing back in now. <laughs> apologies, apologies. There we go. This is mostly from my own perspective, really, and it's not something exclusive to Nubbles either, but... They feel a sense of companionship through the family name that they've been born with. That very sense is what supports them through life and inspires them to work as much as they can to live up to it. I'm probably not explaining it too well, but that's how I feel. I see. I'll be sweating. He's sweating. I'm just rambling now. Sorry. No, it's okay. I've learned a lot from what you told us. Hee <laughs> hee, I didn't really get it, but you sound really cool. Yeah. So that's how he feels. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? That was a really thoughtful response. Okay, at least our approves. Heh, <laughs> one very like him as well. Hee <laughs> hee, it was. I'm very impressed too, to be honest. Okay, so everyone's fine with it. Excellent. Regardless, that should be enough for today. Make sure to thank him now, everyone. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Ugh. Let me give you something to thank you for taking the time to teach the children. What is it? I believe that was a very valuable experience for all of them. I hope they got what I was trying to say. It wasn't exactly the easiest subject matter. Hee hee, what could you tell... We could tell you what... We're, we're really enthusiastic though, and I think the kids picked up on that too. She's right, they all seem to have been enjoying themselves. Your answer to that final question was rather impressive as well. Yeah, it looks like the kids aren't the only ones who learned something new today. I got so caught up in details that I couldn't really explain myself properly. I'm glad you guys think I did okay. Mm -hmm. He he, you should, should yeah. You should have some more confidence in yourself. At any rate, here's your compensation for playing teacher today. Yellow pendulum accessory. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Well then, I wish you the best of luck with that field study of yours. May the blessing of the winds and the gods be with you. Okay. I think that went pretty well. Save again. 
I don't know why, just I'm just throwing my words very much. I'm plenty hydrated, so I'm not sure what the hell the problem is. Trust me guys, if I knew I would solve it, but I just don't know at this point. Maybe it's because I just get nervous, I really can't tell. I should be nervous after three years of doing this, you know. Oh yeah, the fence is broken, that's for sure. Hey there, I was waiting for you. How in the world did the fence end up like this? That's a good question. Okay then, your guess is as good as mine. It seems like it got broken sometime just before noon. Unfortunately, some of the sheep have managed to escape too. I doubt there's any need to worry about the monsters getting them because they're surprisingly fast, but... Would you be able to go f out and find them for me? Okay. Gladly. How many sheep managed to escape? That's a very good question. Wow, five of them in total. Based on their hoof print, it seems like three went north and two went south. Oh, they're in different areas. I'd honestly like to go search for them myself, but I need to get this fence fixed up first. That's understandable. Otherwise, the rest of them will make a break for it as well, of course. Don't worry, we'll take care of them. Shall we begin the search immediately then? Yes. That's probably the best idea, especially with how fast the highlands are. We'll need to make some preparations of our own before leaving, though. Like what? Okay, I agree. Heading out there with insufficient supplies is foolhardy. Right then, let's get started once we're ready. I think I'm ready right now, actually. Oh, it's a little sheep counter in the lower right corner. That's cool. I mean, our stats are full, right? Let me just see what that item was. Prevent seal slash mute. Not very valuable, whatever. So let's do the south ones first, right? Two the south, three the north. I got it. I just really hope that they're marked. If they're not marked, that's gonna be a pain in the ass to find them. There's one. Where's the other one? Oh, I, they are marked. Thank, thank God. <laughs> yeah. I would never be able to find them if they weren't marked. I'm just hoping we just interact with them. That'll qualify as bringing them back, right? I really don't want to have to herd these damn sheep. Did I bump him? Oh, I got bumped into something. Okay, well, can I leave? Everyone, see you later. I didn't even see what I bumped into. Holy yeah. crap! So there should be one over here. Yep, there it is. So how do I get it back? Ah, I found one. I'm surprised I managed to come all the way out here. What are we going to do with the sheep we find? I'll lead the sheep back to the settlement with my horse. But we should leave guiding them back until we've, after we found all five. Okay, I'll leave that to you then. Found the first sheep. Oh, it is automatic. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. The second one is to the... Yeah. This way. Yeah, these wide open environments going on a horse remind me a lot of Breath of the Wild, even though I never actually played that. I know, shocking, right? I never played Breath of the Wild. I would have, but the problem is, I heard it takes like tens of hours to beat. I mean, yes, I have played certain games already on the channel for tens of hours, but for that, it seems like a very long investment. Is that one of them? Of course it is. Yeah, that's one of the sheep we're looking for. Ooh, that's two of them. Yeah, there are still a few more out there, though. Found the second sheep. Yeah. Okay, I guess we're all done the south. We can head north now. Not to mention that I heard Breath of the Wild is very confusing what you're supposed to be doing exactly. Considering the entire map is open to you at once. You could go and fight the final boss as soon as you start the game, based on what I've heard, but... You obviously die in one hit, but still. Don't get me wrong, I like the Zelda franchise, it's just that I just... I never got around to playing one on the channel. No, I definitely should at some point, but now's not a good time. Especially considering I'm playing two RPGs at the moment. Lengthy RPGs have that notion as well, but... 
yeah, I get Link is not really like in Zelda games are not really RPGs in the sense, they're more like adventure titles, but still. Ah, the wind here feels so oh give it turbo, so nice. Agreed, it has a different flavor of freshness to it than the winds in the southwestern highlands. Oh, that's due to all the sheer cliffs around here. It gives the wind in this area a unique feel. The winds take many forms and bestow countless blessings on the people of North. Well, I can see why your people place such importance on the wind. Yeah, and the view here is just as nice as the vistas in the southwest, too. Anyway, if we're all rested up, we should get... What's going on? What's wrong? Oh, nothing really. I was just looking at that cliff over there. I want to sound that. Is it just me, or does it look like there's something buried in it? Like some kind of giant? I can't tell from this angle, but... What are you going on about? There's no way so... Oh. Maybe that's the statue he was talking about? What in Adidos' name is that? I have no idea. Some kind of statue, maybe? You think it's a way to the stone circle in the several reaches of the highlands? Honestly, we don't know all that much about it ourselves. Oh, it's an ancient statue said to be the guardian of the North Highlands. A guardian, huh? I guess it does give that kind of impression. Am I? You alright? Oh, sorry, I was just stunned speechless by that statue. Well, I can't say I understand the feeling of awe. I wonder how massive it must have looked when you're up close. I'd imagine it's more than likely that, that the photographer we're seeking is in that area. So we need to venture closer regardless, true. Oh, the quarry, right, are we gonna go visit the quarry? By the way, if you head northeast of the statue, you'll find an ancient quarry. And to the northwest of the, is the scenic lake Lacrima? It's always helpful to get the lay of the land, so there's no harm in visiting both of those sites too. Makes sense to me. Alright, let's get moving. I mean, for all I know, guys, the hidden quests, assuming there are any in this chapter or area, could be at the lake or the quarry, so is it worth checking out? Okay, apparently one of the sheep is by the statue. Or is that the statue? I'm so confused. Yeah, it was like the lake and the quarry lead to totally new different areas. Interesting. There's mist in the distance. Yeah, it's even higher here than the Southern Highlands. And apparently there's new enemies to fight here, too. Ah, oh, the turtles. I do not like the turtles or tortoises, wherever the hell they are. Sheep? Hey, sheep. Here we go. It looks like this one didn't stray too far from the settlement. Yeah. I believe this is the third sheep. Yes, it is. It seems so. Let's keep searching. Found the third sheep. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, that's where we entered from, but we gotta find those sheep. We have a lot to do, actually. Okay. I mean, there could also be treasure chests around here, too, for all I know. Okay, do not go over the edge, please. Thank you. See what I mean? Treasure. Oh, but this is the booby-trapped one, isn't it? Yeah. Anytime I see that marking, it means it's booby-trapped, isn't it? I'm saving, because I don't know what the hell is in there. Don't know what's in there at all. Let's see. Wow. If it's a fight they want. Are those griffins? How are those things? 
I mean, they look like griffins. It's my turn. Hippo griff. Okay. Okay, we need some defense oh, no. going. Leave it to me. Where your support abilities again? Shining, insight, breath. How big is oh? Do it. I wanna see this. Oh shit. Sorry guys, I dropped something. Wow, they survived that. Okay, we need the he um the courier right now. Yeah, what's well, flash a healing arrow too? Right there's good. Hang in there. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, get rid of those status effects, please. And they got four turns in that shit. Ow. Barbecue? Oh great, now Guys is on fire. Oh god. This isn't looking good. You think? You're gonna go down. Oh, he has something that cures cures uh poison. Now Alright. How much health do these things have? Oh my god, they have a fuck ton of health. I don't know what to do here. Well, my turn. I can get rid of that burning effect. She might go down here. Saw that coming. Saw that coming. Of course, she's the one who has the revive ability. It just had to be her, didn't it? I can do this. I don't want to get her up now, because she'll she'll be too weak. She'll probably just go, go down again, right? What are your weaknesses, by the way? Earth. Earth and fire. Oh, that works. Oh, no, you don't. Stop right there. Even though it seems like they're made of fire. Whatever. Yeah, they have a fuck ton of health. Does that always cause the burning effect? Jesus Christ. Leave it to me. Okay, now is it a good time to get her up, I guess? Sure. <laughs> Thank you very much. I have to give her health right away, though. <laughs> that works. Thank you very much. I think I have three turns next. All right, if we stop doing that, same goes to you. It's gonna hurt. Yep. Oh great, now they're all fucking fucking fire. <laughs> Hang in there. <laughs> Thank you very much. I mean we could use his S crap, but then I'm still burning though. Is it worth the risk? Alright. I mean is it or isn't it? Uh, they still have a shit ton of health, so I think it is worth it. Oh yeah, I could do it outside their turn, right? How do they get an S-break? Yeah, I want to get the two big guys. I have to remember I could do this out of turn. Please take them out. You did not take either of them out. That's very unfortunate. Heal Rain. Thanks. And you got four turns, shit. Oh no, you don't. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter because we're all on fire anyway. Okay, Sorry. stop doing that, you dick. It's my 
better. How much help these things have left? Jesus Christ. Not that much. Yeah, do that Prove instead. To me. They're still standing. I can do this. And hopefully that'll take him out. Oh no, you don't! Stop right there! No delay! Now! Rush! Hell yes! Uh, yeah, I should get Emma up so she gets more experience, right? Leave it to me. I mean, it might be a waste, but whatever. I can always buy more revived materials. <laughs> Thank you very much. I can do this. Okay, and their arrow. Hang in there. There may be, there better be something very valuable in this chest after all the shit I have to do. That's that. Let's keep moving. Well, there's over a fuck ton of experience, though. Not, my, not a bad amount of sepith either. What we get? We got... Bayako? What the hell is Bayako? Biako? Why the heck? Hold on. A task crash puts you... Oh. Not very useful. Only 10% chance, really? Alrighty then. We have enough for a full video. I'm just gonna play a bit longer, though. First thing, let's save. Uh, not save, heal. That should be good enough. Back on course. Okay. We have to head up that way. Yeah. Not what I want to do. Wrong button. Okay, a little bit further, we can get that fourth sheep. Oh, we made it all the way to where that giant statue is. It looks even more massive the closer we get. To get right in front, yeah, I want to get this thing to go around the cliff. I want to get this thing with the sheep done first. No, then I can worry about the lake and the quarry. Uh oh, it's guarded. By some sort of wizard creature, nonetheless. All right. Here we go. There it is. It appears to be safe. That's a relief. That's four sheep now. Yep, just one more to go. Found the four sheep. Cool. Get out of here before this thing gets us. So I assume the fifth one is that away, right? Alright, just keep my eyes open for any more chest that might be here. Like that, see? Uh, it's a treasure chest! Earth pulse. Okay. Yeah! See what you get by keeping your eyes peeled? Okay, we'll wait down here. It should be the fifth sheep. And of course, one of those hip griff things are guarding it. Can I sneak around you, please? This monster seems dangerous. Be careful. Oh, you think? Oh no, it's not even here. God damn it. Yeah. Never step for nothing. There's the sheep. Oh god, it's been over there, wait. Is that three of them and all together? No, those are monsters. <laughs> what are the odds that would be the exact same body that would pop up? Oh my god, that's just weird. Oh, they saw us. I guess we're fighting. If it's a fight they want. I can do What are these things about a creepy sheep? 
Yeah, considering they're on their hind legs, yeah, that's the def very definition of creepy. Not very strong, though. It's my turn. Here. It's my turn. Now. I got you. Thank you for missing. That was easy. <laughs> I go where the wind takes me. All right, sheep, you okay? Ooh, that was unexpected. It really was. All right, that should be all of them now. Good, good. We should let Watari know that we found all of them. Yes, please. Found all of the lost sheep. Oh, we're, automat we're automatically back here. Excuse me. And there we go, all fixed up. Everything should be fine now, I hope. Yeah, they won't be able to get out again. Good. Thanks for tracking them all down. I'm sure they're relieved to be back with their buddies. Yeah, but I bet so. Hee hee, it certainly looks that way. I'm amazed by how well guys let them back here. Likewise, it would have been nearly a simple task for the rest of us. It's just a matter of experience. Either way, the sheep are safe now. So here, take this as my thanks. Okay, fresh milk, mature cheese. Did these come from the sheep? Yep. It's good stuff, so eat up whenever you're feeling hungry. Thanks. Thank you very much. Okay, that's done. Can I make anything with those things? I see the eggs for that. I need flaky potatoes for that. It's probably a rare ingredient. I need onions for that. I oh, shit. I'm like always missing stuff. It's not. It's not fair. Okay, we don't really need to heal at the moment, even though we should anyway. Why do I have the feeling that we're gonna be fighting another boss when we find the photographer? Is that like a sensible feeling to have that we're gonna fight another boss soon? Cause that giant fish was just way too easy. Right? That was way too easy. And Pep North again. Okay, before we advance with the story, though, I want to check out the quarry and the lake. Yeah. There has to be a hidden quest somewhere in this area, right? That's just my assumption. I mean, maybe it was back in... Was it whatever the... Trista? The hidden quest? I'm not sure. Because if I had to guess, every single chapter has hidden quests, right? Maybe? I have no idea. Again, that's the hard part, doing blind things there. Yeah. Are so great in depth. All right, so we go up to the left to get to the lake. Okay, somewhere up here. We'll keep an eye out for chests. Like over there, I see a chest. I think. Oh, it's in there, booby trapped one. Well. Seems to be. Yes, I know, thank you. You're saving again, just be on the safe side. Alright, what we got? Enemy sight. Oh, of course, these fuckers again. Why do I think anything less? I mean, should I use my S craft right now? Sure. I know it's more powerful if you have 200, but still, I mean, these stupid hip grips have a lot of health. Oh yeah, that's to take care of the minions. Hell yes. Oh yeah, you have a you have a earth move, don't you? Yes, you do. Let's go. Here you go again. Oh, hell yes. Sweet. You have any Earth moves? 
You have this, whatever this is. Oh, you can use your art to, um, S-Craft too, excuse me. Might as well. All the S-Crafts look pretty cool, I have to admit. Okay, that didn't really do enough damage, but whatever. Oh, they're confused. Sweet. Why aren't my things set up? Whatever. Yeah, Golden Sphere going. I was hoping it would do more damage than that, but whatever. Okay, you have no Earth moves, but... Yeah, sure. That's one down. Leave it to me. Trade HP for CP. I don't want the sound of that. I don't know. Let's just attack. You attack as well. It's my turn. Oh, use your sphere again. Duh. Okay. Thank you for missing. Set that link again, thank you. Here. Beautiful. Oh, we should be safe now. Yeah, these things are worth a lot of experience. Not gonna lie. What's my prize? Harvest. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so get, to get to the lake, it's right up here. Yes, it is. Cool. What awaits us at the lake, I wonder? If anything. Yeah, it's a pretty nice looking lake, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, am I to assume we're gonna come here anyway tomorrow on the next quest? I mean, we're already here, let's just check it out while we're here, right? Wow, this lake is beautiful. It really is. You can see the sunlight glimmering on the water. And the air feels so clean, too. This is Lake Rakrima, I don't know how you pronounce that. I and the others from the settlement come here every now and then. It seems like a quite a distance to travel. Any particular reason for coming here? Sure is. You see that cabin over there? Sure do. Oh, there's a hermit who moved in there about five years ago. He used to live in the Empire. He's a real wizard of orbital tech and anything mechanical, so he's a, been a real boon to us here. All right. A hermit, huh? Well, I can't say I minded too much if it meant I got to live somewhere as pretty as this. You got that right. So, you think he's in right now? Hard to tell from here. I'd like to drop by and say hello while I'm back in Nord, though. That's fair. That's fair. Okay, is there anything to the left? Anything to the left? How beautiful. Yeah! Yeah, breathtaking. I mean, I assume I could go fishing here, but I was never huge on the fishing minigame to begin with. I don't really intend on starting Whoa. either. I mean, yeah, maybe you get some good items by trading with that fishing guy back at yeah. 4's, but... I just don't really have the time to focus on that at the moment. Alright, so let's see if the Hermit is in. Okay, no one's at the dock, right? No? Okay. Wait, there's two buildings. Can we go in this one first? Maybe not? This looks like a garage for an orbital car. It's locked up, though. Huh. He usually leaves it unlocked so he can tear out on here on the whim and roll around the planes. See, he sounds like a very entertaining person. Hmm, it seems he's out then. Still, we may as well check the cabin just to be sure. Yeah, you're right. 
I hope he's okay. I mean, it seems kind of odd that his garage will be locked all of a sudden. For what reason? Maybe this leak is hiding some sort of dark secret. Oh, nice place he has. So, this is where the hermit lives. Just glancing around the room, you can tell what his hobbies are. Yeah, he's always favored the laid-back life. Looks like that hasn't changed. He used to take me and my siblings fishing back when we were younger, too. It looks like he's living quite a comfortable life here. I know someone who has these exact same hobbies. I mean, what are the chances? Is it the same guy? I don't know. Anyway, it looks like he's out right now. His boat's not the wharf, so he must have gone out fishing. We'll have to come back some more time if we want to see him. Looks like looks that way. All right, let's get going. Yeah, I don't think I should stay around this house. This is kind of weird. Okay, so this sort of implies that we come back here later and we we'll run into him, maybe, right? That's just the way I look at it, so yeah, we have to come back here later at some point. Let's get going! Unless I was supposed to come here before. No, like before we had that noon meal? Shit, I just thought of that. Hmm. Too late now, though. I already saved over that f file. Yeah, I know we're, we're extremely late, guys. I just want to check out the quarry, and then we'll wrap up. I just have to make sure I did not pass by the giant. Yeah, we can go down to avoid the giant. All right. Yeah. You know, I may have to do some grinding here too, because these griff birds, whatever the hell they're called, they're very valuable. I mean, they're tough, but they're at the same time they're very valuable to fight. So, somewhere straight ahead. Any treasure? No? Alright, fine. Yeah. What awaits us at the quarry? Okay, apparently it goes a lot deeper than I thought, dude. This is... It's so gloomy in here. Somehow I doubt we could actually get in there, but you never know. The atmosphere is really heavy. I'm guessing this is the ancient quarry. Sure is. They see it dates all the way back to Neolithic civilization that was here over a thousand years ago. Those are the same legends that say the Guardians sealed away an evil djinn here. I do recall overhearing someone back at the settlement mention the djinn. That sounds a bit unsettling. Plenty of other folk think so too, that's the reason most of the people of the Highlands avoid this area. Though I can't say it bothers me at all that much, good. It does seem like a place straight out of old tales and legends though. There's no one around and not much reason for us to be here either, what should we do? Well, if you're curious, by all means go take a closer look. I poked around here before, but I never really found anything interesting. Nothing phases you, does it? Alright, I suppose it's gonna hurt to check it out. Sure. I mean, should I expect more monsters in there, or what? Are we gonna have to fight the evil genie? Well... Curiosity killed the cat, but in this case, maybe it'll give us good fortune. And treasure, who knows. Alright, in we go. Does the door even open? Oh, it appears we reached a dead end. There's no one here either, just a stone door that I don't think even our combined might could budge. It seems like it was a waste of time coming here. I suppose you may be right. Though it does seem like the kind of place the evil spirit might haunt. This whole area, really, it has an eerie vibe I just can't shake. What? You can sense that kind of thing? Of course, you're a witch or something, aren't you? Uh, oh, no, no, no. 
That's just the impression I get from looking around. Don't lie. Sigh, never mind then. Hmm. What now? I doubt it's anything, but... but what? Oh, I just thought I saw something moving out the corner of my eye. Same here. Could have been some small animal. Plenty of those around here, no doubt. It would scarcely surprise me to encounter something less natural in a place like this. Hey, knock it off. I'm starting to feel feel kind of creeped out now. Sorry. Anyway, there's not much we could do here, so let's get going. Okay, so the door is impassable. Why do I have the feeling we're going to be back here at some point, either during this field study or otherwise? Because there's a whole door section right there, see? And their door over there. I mean, this area would not exist with a door if we couldn't go in, right? At some point? I feel that's a safe assumption to make. Yeah. Otherwise, why render the whole environment to begin with if you couldn't go in, you know? <laughs> Doesn't really make much sense. Okay, so all we have to do really is go t find the photographer. I'm glad to be back here again. Agreed. I'm certainly in no hurry to return. Yeah, all we have, have to do is go with the giant statue, alright? Let's go and wait for another video, guys, because we've been recording almost an hour. I'm tired, I gotta take a break. I may do some off camera grinding here just to get some more Sepith mass. Again, if anything story related happens, I'll be sure to start filming. Otherwise, I'll just leave it out. Okay, that'll do it. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.